so uh, we have uh, inserted an image so this image uh, we we'll, uh, we have a department where we are having kids wear men's wear and women's wear if we go into the data here the department men's wear is attached uh, with the uh, department id of 1 women's wear with the department id of 2 and kids wear with the department id of 3 okay so now uh, what, what are need? those characters uh, balu so it's just a, a, a representation of the kids wear men's wear and women's wear chaitanya Oh, okay. Men's wear, right. kids wear, right. and women's wear. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Please so, please yeah. Okay. So, in order to make uh, the, uh, this image as an interactive visual, uh, we need uh, the software. So, it is basically QGIS, where we can we can download it from the website QGIS. It's a free open source uh, tool. We can download that and install. after that uh, we'll be having an interface like this so we have to go to the layer and add layer add a raster layer here we have to select the image i have selected the image and click on add so we got the image so this is the primary step uh, where we'll getting the uh, we will be getting the image so the second step is to add a layer of interaction on the top of this image so in order to add uh, another layer we have to go to the layer and instead of add layer we have to create a layer here and select the new shape file layer okay and before that uh, if we see the department here so the data type of the department is text and we are having the department ids uh, so why the id field is important is because we will be linking uh, using the id field and the department uh, uh, the text that we are having here so the men's wear hey, is balu uh, one quick thing if you don't mind like uh, is it possible for you to show the end result how is it going to look like yes sir okay. so just uh, in that way we will go to relate to it uh, okay and you mouse over and you are able to change the right hand side visual right uh, yes sir then if you okay. click on that uh, that will be filtered uh, by the accordingly category okay got it wait okay quick proceed yes. okay so, so here yeah. in that um, you know the uh, qgis that you mentioned uh, what are we trying to do so oh, oh, we we have just the image uh, chaitanya here so uh, we uh. need to add an uh, another layer through which if we click on that uh, that will be as an interactive visual so we okay. are, we are converting this image into an interactive visual interactive using the Q- visual okay yes. so so image generally happens to be one thing right so here there are multiple elements uh, i have uh, merged uh, the multiple images into a single uh, image chaitanya No, no, what I'm saying is, see, generally, image. If you take a JPEG, right? So that's one uh, sort of set of pixels, correct? Yes, sir. Sure so, uh, and if you take a GIF, right? Yes. GIF is like actually multiple layers, right? And it will keep alternating between all the layers, right? So, what is the type of image that we are trying to create here in this software? What's the output? uh what type is it yeah in order to get the interactive visual uh, the type we need is a topo json uh, which is uh, not okay. the output that we'll get mm-hmm. from the uh, qgis we'll get mm-hmm. the output as a geo json okay got it it's so, a geo json file yes and we'll convert okay. the geo json into a topo json using uh, another uh, web browser oh okay all right understood okay all right So okay. the the image format can be a PNG, JPEG, or a, any type of image. So we'll have to uh, load it into the QGIS software. After that, we'll be adding another layer on that, so that uh, we'll export that particular layer, and uh, we can use that particular exported layer into the uh, other web browser, and we'll convert that a geo JSON file into topo JSON, and that topo JSON output format will be uploaded into the Power BI to make it interactive visual. And it, and it, okay, and it. Ah, uh, Balu, okay. the the end result that we're looking for here is like so you click on different parts of the image and the and the graph changes accordingly. Is that what we're trying to achieve? Yes, sir. You know. Okay. So uh, yeah, we have yes, sir. Yeah. So we have uh, the image loaded. So this is the first step, and 
uh, we need to add a layer on this so that it can uh, be an interactive visual so for that we need to create layer and we have to go to the shape file layer here and we give a some name as third layer and under the geometry type we have to select a polygon and here we have to select the department which we uh, saw earlier in the data set and the uh, type is string so i'll add to the field list so we can add uh, multiple uh, values here and click so, on hold okay. on hold on i just can you go back to the dialog box uh, once uh, please sure, sure. So uh, in the geometry type, can you just show me what are the other options? Line oh, string point. Okay. So okay, line string is also there. Multi point and oh, what's the oh multi point and point. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Okay. So we can probably create this kind of additional interactions also. It's not just the polygon. I think you may have created a box or something. But yes. if we create, let's say, a line, if you just mouse over that line, then also we can create the same kind of interaction, correct? Right? Uh, uh, no, not sure, Chidanya. Uh, not tested okay. the line string. All right. You know, there's a possibility because this is a polygon, right? So you created a square or a rectangle, that, that, that. Yes. Ah, right. uh, okay. Then probably similar thing is possible. Okay. Right. Okay. Please okay. continue. Yeah. So we'll be selecting the polygon and uh, we'll give uh, the department here and add it to the field list, which I've already done in the third layer here. So, we'll click on the edit and we'll click on the polygon here. We'll mark the edges as appropriately as possible we'll click there after selecting four edges we have to click uh, our right click and uh, we have to enter the id as we have seen in the power bi for the men's wear it's one for the women's wear it's two and for the kids wear it's three so we'll enter one and the department is menswear. Click on the OK. Select the polygon. It's where, and similarly for the last thing. So the images are cute, huh? Both the men's guy and the women's. <laughs> okay. So we have uh, done uh, the layering part. So what image has to be uh, configured up to which part? So we have done that uh, using the polygon. So we have uh, uh, now the next step is we have got uh, something that is not very appropriate or uh, very not uh, 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 it's not in a correct shape. So how can we edit this? Clicking on this edit button, you can actually. Change the orientation. Similarly, uh, we can uh, adjust the uh, borders for everything. After that, uh, what we have to do is we have to click on that particular layer and export and save feature as. So here we have to select uh, the format as GeoJSON. We don't have a direct format of TopoJSON, which is a more accurate uh, version of uh, GeoJSON itself. 
so we are uh, only having the option of geojson we'll select that and uh, we'll give a name for this and we'll click on okay so what we have to do is next we'll come to a map shaper or a dot org website here we have to select uh, the uh, the geojson file that we have uh, just done we'll click on that and we'll click on import so we'll get the outline image from here we can export it as a topo json we'll click on the export as i'm already having uh, the topo json here i'll click cancel so which which browser is that uh it's is Maps, it a browser or is no, that it's a, a website tool? it's a website uh, chaitanya okay, map website uh, mapshaper.org okay. Okay, and you have loaded that here, and uh, there is an export option here. Okay, on yes. the right hand side, uh, so export option. Uh -huh. the process of why we are using the uh, mapshaper.org is because uh, it can convert the geojson into a topo json. Understood. Understood. Okay. So we have already we have <laughs> already uh, the image loaded here. So now what we have to do is we have to select uh, the shape map which we have enabled mm -hmm. from the preview feature. Mm. We'll click the shape map here. Okay. We'll add department as a location, and going into the format options, we have the map settings here. Uh, here under the visual, instead of USA, we'll select the custom map, and we'll browse uh, to the topo JSON file that uh, we have exported from the uh, mapshaper.org. So this is that. So we have got the outlet. So if we, if we click on that, it will be uh, it is already linked with the department and department ID. So it will filter the data. So what we really need is to uh, link the image and the uh, topo JSON file that we are having. So I'll turn off the title. Under the effects, I'll increase the transparency. So we got uh, what we need, uh, but it's not uh, that accurate uh, because of the transparency. We can't uh, see uh, what the image and uh, it's not that clear. So what we can do is uh, we'll create a new measure. So here uh, we, we are creating a new measure for the transparency. Here uh, we are uh, creating three variables in that. So the department, uh, we are using the selected value or oh, because a selected value function uh, returns a uh, value when there is only one value. So, and we are using a color uh, switch function here. Uh, uh, there are three departments and uh, when we select on each department that will be shifted uh, accordingly. And we are retaining that color. So what will happen is we have to add this as a conditional formatting here. Selecting the visual under the fill colors. We have to select uh, the measure that we have created conditional formatting. And this is how uh, we can make uh, any image. It's not only uh, this image, but uh, we can uh, uh, take any image of uh, uh, any shapes, but uh, we can do the same approach in the uh, Power BI using uh, the shapes here. But uh, uh, when there is circle or rectangle, uh, it can do the job. Uh, if we want to do a car uh, wheels or something, that kind of stuff, uh, then uh, that approach uh, by the native Power BI will not be useful. Uh, so this method, uh, instead of uh, any image restrictions, we can do on that. So this is what I plan for today. Balu, can you please open that uh, the measure that you created to get the transparency? Sure. Yes. So what are we doing here? So. Oh, yeah, uh, we, we are selecting the department ID. So, uh, and uh, we are giving a transparency. If I increase the transparency to 0 0.5, let's say, then the shape, right? So we'll, we'll see a color based on that. You can observe, right? Okay. Yeah. 
so th- this uh, sort of uh, input will be useful uh, when we are having a text kind of thing men's wear women's wear and kids wear right so here it will be useful uh, when we are using images uh, so we want a cleaner uh, output kind of thing so i've reduced the transparency there okay and it should be in double quotes rgba and we got to give the yeah uh, if, if if we can uh, give directly blue red green uh, the name also and uh, we are including the transparency here okay 